Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Cody Steck. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. In this one, we're talking about the market update for Salt Lake City real estate for the month of May. We're going to cover a lot of information that you're going to want to know if you're considering making a purchase or selling a home. This is going to affect you, whether you're a buyer or a seller in this market. Maybe you're looking to invest in real estate. Whatever it is you're trying to do in the real estate world, this information should come in handy for you. With that being said, my name is Cody Steck, your favorite Utah realtor. If you are considering buying or selling or investing in real estate here in Utah, please reach out to me. My team and I service the entire state and I absolutely love hearing from you guys. My information will be here on the screen. Please call, text, or email anytime and I'd love to chat with you. With that said, let's go ahead and jump on my screen here and take a look at this data. So if you've watched my channel before, this information should look fairly familiar to you. We're looking here at the month of May uh, and let me highlight this here for us. May 2023, we had 3,280 home sales. That's what this number right here is. This is going to be your total sales volume. This is going to be your median list price. So the median list price has really not changed over the last uh, almost five months or so, right? We were at 510 here in December, January at 490. Then we started climbing back up, hit 500, and then we've stayed mostly at 500 for the last couple of months. Here, uh, this is the important column that you're going to want to pay attention to. The median sales price to a original listing price was here at $493,000. So this ratio right here is 99%. That's basically just this number uh, divided by this one here. And this gives you a good idea of what people are actually paying for homes, how quickly they're moving, and how much they're being uh, negotiated on by the buyers who are purchasing those homes. So not only have we seen prices actually climb back up from where they were over the past couple months, but now we're also seeing buyers paying more for those homes than they were in the past. Now, in most cases, you are still negotiating a little bit off of the original list price, but it's not very much, right? We're only talking about 1% give or take here in most scenarios. Looking back here at this information, you've got January where sales hit. 456,000 for a median sales price. And then we started climbing. We hit 465, 480, 475, and then a pretty big jump back here to 493 for the month of May. So if you just look at the last couple of months, month over month, you might actually think, hey, home prices are increasing again. Why is this? Well, number one, it's going to be some seasonality. Number two, it's also going to be due to the fluctuation in interest rates and also the return to normalcy that we're seeing in the real estate market. Over the past six to 12 months in the end of 2022, we saw a lot of people who were just basically, uh, you know, thinking that the world was going to crash, thinking that things were going to end, that the real estate market was going to go down 30% and that this was going to be, you know, a huge disaster. Well, here we are in May of 2023. That has not happened. Prices, yes, they have come down. We have seen a change here, but they haven't actually changed all that much from what you might expect. If we look back here at the uh, all-time high or, you know, the most recent high, here in May of 2022, we hit a median sales price of 540,000 and we're now sitting at 493. So we're down roughly 10% from the all time highs, which is uh, you know a welcome sign, especially because of interest rates, but prices really haven't moved that much. They did drop even lower than that, but now they've kind of rebounded and we're seeing a lot of strong sales growth in the market. So what this means for you, if you're a buyer in this market is that unfortunately, you're probably not gonna be able to negotiate as much as you would have a couple of months ago. However, you can still use this to your advantage if you're willing to be patient, if you're willing to go out there and make sure you find the right house for you, you should be able to put yourself in a situation where you can still get a pretty good deal on the home and even negotiate a little bit on the price and on the closing costs that you might be able to get for the home as well if you need them. If you're a seller in this market, this is very, very good news because if you were thinking about selling your home three or four months ago, you are now in a much better position today than you would have been back then. Right now, homes are selling, and as long as they're priced correctly, you shouldn't have to sit on the market for too long of a time. If we actually jump over here and take a look at this final column right here, you can see that the days on market, the median uh, amount was 23. So this has actually dropped significantly from back in January, where we we're at 51. Uh, 23 days on market is still much higher than it's been at this time in previous years. Uh, if we go back to spring of last year, we we're at six days on market. Uh, going back to 2021, we were even lower at five days on market. And even back to 2020, uh, we were still sitting at roughly 12, 17, 18 days on market. So we're a little bit higher than that, 23 days on market. It's going to take at least a couple of weeks to sell your home. It's going to take a couple of weeks to get an offer on your home. So you just kind of be prepared for that, but it is what it is. You just have to work around that. Maybe list your home a little bit earlier than you might have thought you needed to uh, in order to get it sold along the timeline that you're looking for. Now, with that being said, I do want to jump over here and take a look. We're going to modify this search just a little bit here. I want to take a look at what's happening with single family homes in uh, the Wasatch Front, right? So we're going to come over here. We're going to type in single family homes. We'll do Salt Lake County. We're going to do Utah County, uh, Davis, Davis County, and Weber County. 
So again, this is going to include uh, exclude any condos, townhomes, anything like that, which I think is important because they're you know the vast majority of people who are uh, looking at purchasing a home are looking at. Uh, single family home. So if we rule those out, you can see there's actually been a very similar change in the number, uh, you know, and what's happened with prices. 1,756 sales for last month. Uh, you are able to negotiate a little bit more on this. You can actually up to negotiate up to 4% off of the listing price if you go for a single family home. The median sales price was 566 compared to a median list price of 588 950. So you are going to be able to negotiate more if you're looking at single family homes. This is very important and you have to look at this information and make sure you've got somebody on your side who can get access to this so that you can actually go out there and make an informed decision. Whether you end up working with me or with somebody else entirely, I just want to make sure you've got the information to do what's best for you and your family. And that's why I'm here to produce uh, these videos to give you that information overall. So if you're looking at single family homes, uh, you can negotiate roughly 4% on your average deal, and you're going to expect to see days on market at 19 days on market. Now, the other thing you have to pay attention to here is what happens with price ranges, right? Let's actually come back here. We're going to modify this just slightly. Uh, let's type in pri uh, list price uh, like below 500,000. If we type in uh, view results, let's see if this loads up. What we're going to see here is going to tell a different story based on the price range that you're looking at. Single family homes under 500,000 are selling for more than what they're listed for, right? That's what this ratio shows right here, 101%. This is crazy. If you asked me three, four months ago if this would be happening, I would have said absolutely no way this is not going to happen. However, there's still a ton of demand for single family homes here along the Wasatch Front under that $500,000 price range. Number one, because it's the most affordable range. And number two, just because there's so many people that wanna live here, they're willing to pay this to get into a home. We saw 646 home sales, uh, median list price of 436,950 with a median sales price of 440. So again, it's kind of crazy that homes on uh, on average are selling for above what they're listed for and days on market in this range is only nine days. So if you got a home that you're trying to sell at these lower price ranges, it's going to sell fairly quickly. Let's come back here and modify the search. Let's do 500,000 uh, to 1 million. This will be kind of your second home uh, market. This is gonna be your move up market. This is where you're gonna find your bigger homes, you're gonna find your 3,000, 4,000 square foot homes, and you're gonna see a little bit of a different story here. If you look here, May 2023, 980 sales. These homes on average are selling for roughly 2% less than what they're listed at. A 656,000 median list price versus 640,000 sales price. And days on market is significantly higher here at 26. The last thing I wanna do is jump over here and take a look at what's happening in the price range above $1 million. So let's go ahead and change this. Uh, we're not going to include all the past data because we don't need that. Okay, so looking at a million dollars and over, again, this is on a medium basis, not average. So you kind of have to take that into account. For the month of May, we saw 159 home sales over $1 million along the Wasatch Front. We saw a median list price of 1.35 versus a median sales price at 1.275, which represents a 6% difference. Homes are still selling, selling very quickly even at this price range though. Only 22 days on market is actually pretty crazy to see. I would have expected to see this number at least in the 30s, if not 40s or even 50s, uh, given how the market feels out there. So these homes are still moving relatively quickly, but we are seeing them get negotiated on quite quite a bit, right? We saw this get negotiated on 6%. So depending on what price range you're looking at really is going to factor in how you approach this market, how hard you negotiate, how hard you want to hold out on what's available and how hard you want to push uh, during those negotiations. So with that being said, guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to check out the newsletter in the description box down below and that pinned comment. And then also make sure to reach out to me. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, my team and I would love to help you. Like I said, we'd service the entire state. So no matter whether you're looking in Salt Lake, St. George, or somewhere in between, we'd love to help you along that journey. So reach out to me, call, text, or email anytime. And with that said, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.